All right, hello everyone. Eric Marks here again with FindingMiddleEarth.com. And today we're gonna to talk about tripods and why I'm switching to a brand new tripod company that I found. So we'll talk about that. Before we get started, if you guys head over to my website at FindingMiddleEarth.com, just click the big subscribe button in the top right of the page and you'll get uh, instant access to a free 45 minute video talking about my landscape photography gear, what's in my camera bags. I'll talk about my camera bags themselves. And then I'll be updating that video pretty soon here since I've added some new piece of gear, um, including the a, a new tripod. So let's go ahead and talk about this. Um, the tripod that I've been using for the past year, or I guess going on year and a half, um, is the Faisal CT3472. And for the most part, this tripod has been really good to me. It's carbon fiber, it's pretty lightweight. Uh, this uh, tripod here weighs in at, I believe, 3.9 pounds, uh, so just under four pounds, and it's a uh, four leg section tripod, and it's it has been really good. Uh, lately, for about the past three or four months, I've found three reasons why I'm not liking it so much, uh, because I, I do put my tripods through hell. I mean, I put them through a lot of, lot of use, and that's what they're for. And the reason, so let's talk about the decision why I decided to go with the Faisal tripod. The, the main decision why I went with this tripod first is because I thought that I could save a buck and get a tripod. I think this was around $600 or $700 for the legs. And I thought, hey, you know what? Uh, I'm going to take a chance on this one. I'm going to save a buck on the tripod, and it'll probably be just fine. And you know what? It has been just fine. Uh, it hasn't been extraordinary, but it's been just fine. I've liked it okay. And then I, something just clicked with me when I started not liking this. I, I said, you know what? I always try to save a buck on stuff that I really shouldn't save a buck on. You know, like I, I, I'll, I'll spend money on cameras and lenses all day long, but it, it seems like the stuff that really needs the extra, uh, the extra money to be spent on for the quality, I always just, for some reason, I just kind of like, it just slips my mind and I try to save money. Uh, but if you think about it, the tripod is literally the foundation of your landscape photography. It is the foundation. It is what all of your expensive gear sits on. So you want this one piece of gear to probably be the nicest piece of kit that you own. And I don't know why it took me so long to just let that click. I mean, I've owned really right stuff tripods in the past. I have owned nicer stuff, but I just, I, I didn't, I don't know. I thought it was kind of gimmicky and didn't want to spend the money. And so I went back to something like this. So let's talk about the, the three reasons that I don't like this tripod right now, okay? Reason number one is because about every one to two times that I go out now with this tripod, even after I've tightened the hinges on all these legs, there will still be one, if not all of the legs, that'll just start to cave in on each other. They'll, they'll loosen back up. It's almost like over time these Allen screws have just given in or st stripped the thread or something, and they just, they're just so loose that I just can't even, I can't carry my tripod by one leg, which I like to do. When I'm, when I'm out hiking, it's either on my backpack or I like to carry it by one leg. But what happens is, as you can see, it just automatically just kind of starts to fall and slip. And that happens like every one time or two times that I go out. So it's really annoying that every couple times I have to come back and crank the Allen wrench and try to get this tight again. And a lot of times I have to get it to where it's too tight because I kind of anticipate that it's gonna get looser and looser as the day goes on. So that's reason number one. Reason number two, I'm really uh, lately have not been happy with the maximum height that this tripod reaches to. Okay, the maximum height of this tripod, when all the legs are extended, all the leg sections are out, this tripod goes to 57.9 inches. Okay, and that sounds tall, more than, you know, it sounds more than tall enough. Uh, I am six feet tall, okay, so this, you know, it, 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 it extends pretty far. And by the time you put a ball head on it and the camera, it's about perfect eye level for me. The problem is, when I'm shooting on uneven ground, or if I'm doing waterfall photography, which by the way, uh, waterfall photography is pretty much my favorite kind of photography to do, uh, but just specifically lately, because we're going into spring and summer, and a lot of the water is starting to rush again, um, I, I've been in cascading water and, and plummeting rapids, like right in the middle of it, trying to get these shots. And sometimes I'll be standing in water that's like a foot deep, but then right in front of me, there'll be something that's three or four feet deep. And I would love to have a much longer tripod than I need um, as far as height goes so that I can compensate for that deep water with one of the legs. So for example, this tripod, which we'll talk about, this is the Pro Media Gear 344L tripod. This one, its maximum height is 71 inches. Okay, so 57 inches and 71 inches. That means that if I'm on an uneven ground or hanging off the side of a cliff or in deeper water, 
I can take one of these legs, or all the legs if I need to, and compensate for that uneven ground. And so for example, it's not gonna be that I, you know, that I wanna extend all the legs and, and put my camera you know, two feet above my head, it's that I want enough compensation of length on the legs that it evens out my tripod when I'm in really uneven situations, like deep water or hanging off the side of a cliff or whatever. Let me look at this. It's unbelievable. This is a really, really tall tripod. Uh, when, when this is fully extended, I, if, when I stand up against it, you know, I can pretty much walk under it. So uh, it's a really, really nice tripod. I like this one a lot. We'll talk about this one more in just a second. I'm still kind of, uh, I wanted to give you guys the information as to why I'm leaving the Faisal. So, um, okay, so that was reason number two, okay? I'm not happy with the maximum height. Reason number three is the vibration that this tripod picks up. And I didn't really notice it all that much until I started shooting waterfalls again a lot more. So like I said, just recently I've been in water that's been cascading towards me in these falls and some rapids have been plowing into my legs and my tripod legs. And there was one time where I had my, uh, this is my Fuji X-T2, but I, I was shooting out with my uh, Nikon D850, which is a 46 megapixel camera. And if there's any kind of vibration or any kind of camera shake, you're gonna see it big time with a 46 megapixel sensor. So I was out shooting, I had my camera up here, and I was, I was in water that was coming at me pretty fast, and I put my, my eye up to my camera, and my eye kind of tingled a little bit. And every time I put it up to my camera, it kind of tingled. And I was like, what is that? And so as I started feeling down the legs, the legs was act, were actually picking up a lot of vibration from the rushing water that was coming at me. And you know, that made me unhappy because I, I, I knew already that all my shots were gonna be soft. I was taking like two minute exposures and I was like, man, it's in the middle of a two minute exposure and I can already tell from the legs that it's gonna be a soft shot because it's vibrating from the legs to the apex, to the ball head, to the camera. And it's just a recipe for disaster. So uh, what I had to do was I had to just dig the tripod legs into the mud um, which you can get spikes for your tripod. We'll talk about that in a second because this one has a really cool feature for spikes. But this tripod also has a weird threading. It doesn't have a normal threading uh, that universally fits all the other tripods for spikes. You have to, I had to go to Home Depot and buy a little bushing to screw in there and then put the spikes in. Uh, so, so because of that, I just don't really carry spikes with this often because it's just a pain in the butt to put them in. Uh, but anyway, I, I dug it into the mud and I ended up leaving with a sharp photo. But when I got home and looked at the other photos, I was right, they were soft because this tripod is not very good with vibration. So those are the three reasons. Number one, the loose legs over time. Number two, uh, the uh, high, maximum height, I'm not happy with the height. And then number three, the vibration on the legs. And if you just, uh, a good way to test this is if you just extend one of the legs or all the legs, whatever, and you just put it, in, actually you don't even have to extend it, you just put it right here and you just kinda, it's almost like a karate chop is what you wanna do. Put your hand on the apex of the tripod and just kinda lightly karate chop the legs a little bit and you'll be able to feel more or less of the vibration as you hit your tripod legs. And I can really feel it on this tripod, but as I do it on this one, okay, it almost does not at all get up to the apex of the tripod. I mean, I can almost not even feel this until I get to about here, okay? Which is, which is really good, because I'm almost never gonna have you know, water up to here on the tripod. I just wouldn't do that. So um, the, what controls the vibration is the tripod company's weave, their chosen weave of carbon fiber. So for example, Pro Media Gear, this tripod here, uh, they claim that their 10 layer carbon fiber weave is really good at canceling out vibration. So obviously this tripod is not so good for anti-vibration. And those are just three of the reasons why I'm moving over to this. So let's talk about this one now. Okay, let's get, let's get this one out of the way for a second. Okay, so I am of a belief that if there are big tripod companies out there getting lots of press, a lot of attention, a lot of money, and doing products well, okay, making good tripods, then there's probably a smaller company that's getting much less attention, much less press, uh, but doing as good, if not a better job than those other companies. And of course, when I started looking for a new tripod, I looked at the big companies that come to mind when you think of a tripod, and I ended up deciding that I was gonna go, I was gonna try out one of them. But when I called that company to ask questions about the tripod, they were very much this culture and this mentality of, look, we already know we're the best, so 
we don't have to answer your questions. I mean, it was very much so like that. And I called two different people just to be like, you know what, maybe I got unlucky, maybe I got some guy on a bad day. I called back and it was the same thing. It was just a bad culture of people behind the product. And I'm also of a belief that if you have really good people behind a product, then that's gonna reflect in the product and the work that they put out. So I did a lot more research over the past few months and I found the company Pro Media Gear and they've been making tripods since 2009. So they're kind of new to the market compared to some of the other people that have been doing it for you know a long, long time. And so I did a lot of research. Everything that I found on these tripods were positive. So I called the company. Um, I reached out to them on Facebook, called them, and I got to speak to their sale, I think he's a sales and marketing director of the company. His name's Tony. And man, super nice guy. Uh, he ended up calling me, I think, on his way home from work. So he technically wasn't even like on work hours. And he just had a conversation with me on his way home and told me everything about the tripods, answered all my questions. We talked a little bit about the competitors and how you know Promedia Gear stands up. And immediately on that phone, I said, you know what? Deal. When you get to work tomorrow, call me. Let's process an order. I want one of your tripods. So this brings me to two options that I looked at. Okay, I looked at their 34 series, which is this one, the 344L, and then they have a 42 series tripod, which is just heavier and it has 42 millimeter diameter legs. So just a big, beefier, girthier leg. Um, and I looked at two of them. So they don't have the 42 series in stock right now. They're still making a lot of them because they're selling out. Um, so I said, you know what? I'll try the 344L, the, the 34 series, and they said, hey, you know what? You just keep it until we get the 42 series in stock, and then if you still want the 42 series, we'll swap it out and just send this one back and we'll give you the 42 series. Um, and I, it, so you can't beat that, right? Because so, I got to try this one and, and I got to review it. I've been using this hardcore for two weeks. so. I said, yeah, great, let me, let me purchase the tripod from you, which by the way, Pro Media Gear does not sponsor this video. I was not given this tripod, I paid for it with my own money. So I decided to test this out and then to decide if I wanted to keep this or go with the 424L tripod. So I can tell you that after using this that I think I want both. <laughs> Um, this one is really good as like a, a travel tripod. I mean, it's in, and because it's so good with vibration and it has the crazy height, it's so much better than the Faisal, uh, at least for, you know, for what I want to use it for. We'll go ahead and just fold this up and get this out of the way. Um, so yeah, I, I think this is actually a really killer travel tripod or main tripod. I mean, you can use it for either one, but I kind of like, since I'm doing a lot of waterfall photography and shooting high winds quite a bit, uh, I think I want something this time around, a little bit beefier and heavier. I don't care if it adds a little bit of extra weight. Uh, this tripod here is 4.3 pounds. The maximum height is 71 inches. The minimum height, which if when all the legs are extended and uh, you're just from ground to the apex here, it's extended like this. I think the minimum height from ground to apex is about 3.4 inches. Uh, so um, with the other one, I think it's like five or something for the 42 series, but this is still you know, a fantastic option. This one weighs right around the same as this one. They're almost negligible. I can't really tell the difference. Technically, this one weighs a little more. This one weighs in at 3.9. This one weighs in at 4.3. Um, but I, I really love this tripod, so I really don't want to send it back. I think, I, just, I think I'm gonna figure out how to get both. But regardless, this tripod's fantastic. And when I went to shoot waterfall photography, first off, the, the anti-vibration worked amazing, but just so that you don't take any chances, if you unscrew the feet on these tripods, they have spikes built right into the feet. So if I just lay this down for a second, you can just unscrew the spike right out of the bottom of the foot. Each spike has a rubber gasket on it, by the way, so that it blocks any kind of dirt or grime getting into the tube when you screw it back on. So then you just screw it onto the other side of the foot you screw the foot back into the tripod, and that took, what, 30 or 40 seconds to do? And now, I have a spiked tripod foot. Perfect, so I just, I, every time I shoot in water now, I just turn the feet over to the spikes, and I just dig it into the water, and I'm good to go, even if, you know, it is super crazy water or rushing water coming at me. So, yeah, that's one really cool uh, feature about this tripod that I really like. We'll talk about another, in, uh, or a couple more features in just a second, as soon as I get this foot back on the tripod. All right, there we go. Okay, so uh, a couple of other cool features about this. Uh, the little hinges here to uh, pop the legs out, to extend the legs. There's a little like divot you can probably see right here uh, that's milled out for your finger to just pop it out. So you just really just push it in and pop it out from behind. And then you have full control on where you want to 
uh, you know, put your tripod leg. Of course, they have little uh, ridges here for you to lock it in on the way down, okay? So I love that this gives you freedom. From the second you pop this out, it's just full freedom to be able to move the leg wherever you want. Now, that's another reason why I love this one because on the Faisal and quite a few other ones, once you take your latch and you put your leg out, on the way down, it automatically ratchets the leg into place. And so if you kind of mistake, which I do this all the time, if you kind of like mistakenly get at the height that you do or don't want, like sometimes I'll want it like here and I'll just like accidentally click it once to the ratchet and I'll have to start all the way over to get it exactly where I want. So I don't like that it automatically ratchets the leg down. I would much prefer it be like the Pro Media gear where I just pop it out and I have full control where I want it to be. Uh, so I love that. Obviously I love the fact that it has uh, 71 inch maximum height, which is awesome. Um, and then this tripod, the Apex, actually has a bubble level on it. For some reason, I don't know why, this, this tripod does not have a level on it. I'm not sure why. Uh, it's never really been a big issue, but it is nice that they do give you the level. Uh, and then this tripod ships with a Allen wrench, obviously. And then this tripod ships with a Night Eyes carabiner because it has a little loop on the bottom of the tripod here, on the bottom of the apex. And if you clip the Night Eyes carabiner to it, then you can obviously, you know, hook your camera bag to it or your filter bag or something like that. And you can add even some more weight on the tripod if you're in a super windy or some, you know, situation and you just want to ground it a little better. So they do ship the carabiner with that. They ship the manual, of course, with some nice, you know, Pro Media Gear logo stuff. And then it ships in a black box like this with a little picture of the tripod. So it was very nicely packaged. I did notice that. Uh, so there you go. This is the Pro Media Gear TR344L tripod. The legs are all buttery smooth. It's got a very nice carbon fiber weave that I can attest to uh, standing up against anti vibration because I have been sinking this thing in water uh, ever since I got it. I've been out shooting in rivers and creeks and waterfalls and it, I mean it's just been it's been drowning since I got it let's face it and it's it's handled everything just phenomenally. So if you guys before I end the video if you want to get like a, a reference of you know how it looks with the camera on it I'm going to mount one of my ball heads on this real quick just you know you can get kind of a visual reference of how everything looks uh, if you're interested in buying one. Let me uh, here we go put this like this so this is the uh, Fuji X-T2 Okay, so there you go. That just gives you kind of a visual reference of what a camera and a ball head would look like on this camera. I'm sorry, on this tripod. So there you go. We'll do it. And, I, and the reason I do this, the whole visual reference thing, is because when I look for products, I like to see like a visual reference of what it would look like next to like a human being and like, you know, how it would look in use. So there you go. This is what it looks like with a ball head and a camera. It's a really, really nice tripod, really great. And uh, oh, one more feature I'll talk about real quick before I end. The uh, remember how I told you guys on the Faisal that I can't stand how the legs loosen up, and it has the Allen screws on both sides of the leg. So I'll show you that. So on both sides of the leg on the on the Faisal, it has Allen screws. It has one here and one here, and you have to uh, tighten them or loosen them both in conjunction with each other. Whereas the Pro Media Gear, there is an Allen screw on one side, and then there's like this stopper on the other side. So the second that you tighten or loosen it, it just stays there. I've put it through so much uh, just handling and water and dust and wind and just, you, Georgia clay here where I live in the mountains and everything that I put it through, it has stayed in the exact same spot of tension where I've wanted it to be. And I know, you know, I'll do an update video after I use the Pro Media Gear tripods for six months and I'll do like a year update, but so far, I'm very impressed with uh, that little system. Just the fact that you can just crank it uh, to exactly where you want it to be and the tension just stays there no matter what. I even, I even did a little like stress test, I guess you could call it, and I tightened this to a certain point where I want it to be and I just sat there for like 15 minutes and just did this up and down and it never loosened. It was actually really impressive. So there you go. The, uh, that's my new choice of tripod is the Pro Media Gear tripods. I'll let you guys know if I'm gonna stay with this one or get the 42 series. Like I said, I'm probably gonna end up getting both because I really want a heavier, girthier, beefier tripod. But if you're looking for lightweight and you want something comparable um, to you know, a lighter 
carbon fiber tripod like this that you may have been using before, but just better with better features, uh, I would go with the ProMedia Gear 344L. But if you do want to look at the one that I'm looking at, it's the ProMedia Gear 424L. So uh, there you go, guys. I hope you guys uh, liked the video. I know I get tripod questions all the time, so I'm glad that I found this company. Um, check them out at ProMediaGear.com. Again, not a sponsor. Uh, if you guys have any questions about anything, leave them in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh,